<laughs> okay, so everybody grab an oil that you like. Um, today we are doing clarity because we need some kind of clarification in here, don't we? Mm hmm Yeah. I got an oil. You got an oil? You want another one? Boom, there you go. Okay, everybody oil up. <laughs> that smells good, doesn't it? Give me some clarification. All right. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys can just bear with me. Hopefully I won't cough very much. Uh, I apologize if I do. I am feeling much better than I was. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it sneaks up on me. So let me get the PowerPoint going here. Close your mouth. <laughs> Not again. Which one do you want? <coughs> Close your mouth, honey. There you go. All right, it's coming up. Sorry, guys. Okay. Can everybody see the presentation? It should say Young Living. No. I know you see it. <laughs> okay. No. All right. No. You didn't say, you said no? Uh oh. Let me get you some glasses, huh? <laughs> okay, so thanks for coming out this morning. Um, this is the introduction to Young Living. Some of you might be brand new to Young Living. Some of you um, might have had it for a while and don't really know what to do with uh, your oils. So hopefully today we can clarify that for you. For those of you that don't know me, I am Tiffany Roberts, the oily doc. Um, I have a master's in nutrition and certified functional medicine practitioner, currently working on my PhD. Um, I hold many certifications in aromatherapy, including aromatic phytochemistry. Um, my husband and I have a holistic clinic in Prairie Village, Kansas, back to nature lifestyle medicine. I'm obviously a mom of a beautiful three-year-old, soon to be four, right, to next week. Um, I'm stepmom to three others and two fur babies and a bunch of lizards thrown in there. Um, currently working on several um, books. Hopefully my goal is to get at least one of those published um, by December this year. And my goal is to educate as many people as I can about uh, getting off of chemicals because that is a lot of our disease issues is because of the chemicals in our household. So, oh, Young Living was founded in 1994 by Gary and Mary Young. I found their story to be similar to mine because he absolutely loves plants and the natural healing. He is a naturopath, and he um, went to, I believe it was Arizona for his naturopathic um, degree, which is one school that I was actually looking at going to. Um, several years back, several years back. I did not know that he actually went there. Um, Gary and Mary were also looking for natural solutions and actively wanted to avoid synthetics and harsh chemicals in our environment. Gary was a small town farmer who loved harnessing the power of plants and loved creating custom DIYs that became um, some of Young Living's most beloved blends, kind of like Clarity. He created that as well. And Mary was a savvy business girl who wanted to empower others to take ownership for their own finances and work in a way that was flexible for their families. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Okay, so let's uh, get into learning about some of the essential oils. Essential oils are aromatic liquids found within shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, resins, and seeds. Basically, when you smell a rose or a pine forest, 
The aroma that you're smelling is the essential oil rising into the air. So we have essential oils around us all the time. In plants, essential oils help to attract pollinators or detract predators. They send chemical signals to other plants and they help protect against bacteria and fungus. Essential oils have been used all over the world for centuries. Essential oils have been found in tombs of Egyptian pharaohs and are prized in China um, for their beautifying properties and has been distilled for years in France. They are mentioned in religious text and they and are the integral, integral <laughs> I don't know if I can say this, an integral part of many of the religious ceremonies, um, including um, some ceremonies of today. They're also important in the history of spice and herb trade. They are usually extracted from plants um, through steam distillation, and they are usually, um, they're concentrated plant extracts, and they're very potent. So a little goes a very long way. They have a strong aroma that, arise, that rises through the air quickly, so they are very volatile, and they can be used in a wide variety of ways for making extraordinary, um, making them extraordinarily versatile. So you can use them in many, many, many different ways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when selecting essential oils, it's very important. Important. Um, when essential oils are cut with synthetics and with filler, when their fillers are added, they are quickly become risky for use in humans and pets. I know we're having some issues um, with lots of stories coming up where, where pets are getting harmed, but a lot of times that's because those people are using the synthetic version, they're not using Young Living. One of the reasons that I chose Young Living is because of the commitment to distillation, um, the high quality essential oils. The commitment is called seed to seal, and it ensures that Young Living um, sources with integrity, test extensively with the most cutting edge uh, science, and creates an industry leading standards to which we hold our partners, uh, meaning if we partner on their farm, they have to do the regulations that we say. There's no other company um, with this level of commitment. No other company has many, as many essential oils as Young Living either. This is the, another reason that I decided Young Living instead of another essential oil company is because of the variety as well, plus the therapeutic effect that I have seen um, with Young Living. I have tried many other companies and I just did not get the quality or the therapeutic effect that Young Living provides. We are also the only essential oil company in the world that owns their own farms and we have them all over the world. So how to use your essential oils? Essential oils can be used in, in many, many different ways. Most people think that inhaling them or placing them on the skin um, is easiest, but you can also be ingested in capsules, made in DIY projects, diffused or worn on um, diffuser jewelry. By the end of this presentation this morning, we will walk away knowing how to use essential oils in many different ways. <clears throat> so the first is inhaled. If you really want to know how to get started with essential oils, you just simply open the bottle um, just like this. You can just open it up and sniff it. Okay. I'm getting therapeutic effect. You wanna sniff it? Smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Many people try to make essential oils so complicated, but it really is this simple. Um, unscrew the lid, like I said, and take a whiff, and now you're officially using essential oils. Now that you have officially used your first essential oil, um, but in inhalation can be done in several ways. You can inhale it directly from the bottle. You can place a drop on your hands and rub it together like I did at the beginning of this presentation, or you can use it in a uh, diffuser. There's even 
um, DIY projects that you can make your own inhaler. Um, you know, like those VIX inhalers, instead of using those, you can make your own little inhaler by getting the uh, tubes off of Amazon. Goodness. So one of the oils that I love to directly inhale is Stress Away. This blend is of lime, vanilla, copaiba, lavender, acotea, and cedarwood. And it's a perfect oil to inhale because the aroma is so pleasing to so many different people. Um, if you have your Stress Away with you in your kit, go ahead and open it up and start sniffing it. Um, it'll definitely reduce your stress. So most people notice that a difference um, when they do smell an oil um, just by placing it from nostril to nostril. Doing it in the middle is still effective, but they get a little bit more effect if they go nostril to nostril. Um, this is one that we take with us on road trips or if we have a nerve wracking day, um, we just grab our stress away and a lot of times we will diffuse it in the office as well. So what happens when you do inhale? Believe it or not, there is a long going, um, there's a lot going on while you're inhaling. Odors in the air float past our nose and hit tiny hairs in our noses and they begin to vibrate. This vibration generates an electrical signal that travels into our olfactory bulb and then further into the brain into ancient structures buried deep into the brain. These structures are collectively known as the limbic system. And this is part of our brain, or at least part of it. Um, this is responsible for memory, emotion, body temperature regulation, hormone regulation, and so much more. Importantly, the limbic system does not speak language. It can only communicate with smells from the outside world. That's why when you have um, a scent that triggers a memory, you're di directly triggering that limbic system. Using a diffuser is a great way to transform an environment and share essential oils with others. Depending on the oil that you choose, you can brighten, relax, or cleanse an environment. We often think that diffusers at home, um, we often think of using diffusers at home but we can also use them in the office and on the road. They do have travel diffusers and we use one in our car as well. What? Okay, in a minute. Okay, so here are a couple of my favorite. Um, I just got the uh, Aria, uh, the last one on the right, and I love it. Um, this is the Rainstone, the Dewdrop, and the Aria. Why do you have that one though? I do have that one, don't I? Yeah, and Dad has that one. And Dad has that one too. So all these diffusers are ultrasonic diffusers. What? Make it up late. Okay. At the base of each of them is a metal disc that vibrates very fast. And these vibrations send water and the essential oils into the air. Once in the air, you are more likely to smell them. The selection of one of these diffusers simply comes down to one or two things, design and cost. I have, I don't have the range stone, but I do have the middle one because it came with the kit and I have the Aria um, in our office and I absolutely love it. How do you love it? Because it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so purification. One essential oil that is very good to diffuse is purification. It has a cleansing aroma that is a perfect weapon against smelly sport, uh, sports gear, stinky shoes, and stuffy rooms. Um, for instance, this morning I cooked bacon, and you know how bacon kind of just permeates the air everywhere all day long. I put purification in the diffuser, and that smell is gone now. Um, Simply put a few drops of water, a few drops with your water in the diffuser and turn them on and bring the aroma of lemongrass, tea tree, lavender, rosemary, and myrtle into the air. Absolutely 
one of Gabe's favorite oils, isn't it? Yeah. So the next way that essential oils can be used is on the skin. You can apply them um, by themselves or with a carrier oil. Carrier oil is a fatty oil like almond, jojoba, olive, or coconut. And there's a lot of other different um, fatty oils that you can use. Just make sure they're organic. They're, um, these are used to ensure that essential oils um, on the skin is a little bit more comfortable for those with sensitive skin. If you ever get an oil on your um, skin that feels a little too hot or too cold or uncomfortable in any way, just simply grab a carrier oil and apply it and it definitely soothes that out. When you use the oils on the skin, it is important to remember that some essential oils contain ingredients that make the skin a little bit more sensitive to sunlight, um, like your citrus oils. So applying citrus oils to the skin and then going out and being exposed to the sun, you could be a little bit more at risk of um, getting a sunburn. Just make sure that you use it with caution. Um, I myself has, have used grapefruit and went out in the sun, but I'm, I'm pretty used to all of that, so I don't really burn very easily. So there's another option. I'm gonna grab a drink, Kai, sorry. I know. Okay, so. RC, where's my RC at? RC is actually one that really rescued me this last week. And it's one of my favorite oils and I put it directly on my skin. The blend of three types of eucalyptus is a great way um, to even start out a workout. It, it definitely helps bring in the air to the lungs. Um, you can simply place a couple drops on your hand and rub it on your chest. Um, or just breathe it in directly. I know. Pan away. This is another one that I have in my purse that I don't go away without. Um, many people use their rollerball and the starter kit for the stress away, but I use it for my pan away. I just put that little rollerball right directly on that pan away, and I have a direct um, rollerball access. Um, Pan away is the per perfect essential oil for after a workout, um, and the rollerball option makes it a little easier to apply. It's definitely helpful for, for me for that time of the month. Um, it definitely soothes things down, and it's, it's just a great relaxer um, of your muscles. It just helps to soothe cramps and things like that. Um, this is another one that I, I don't want to be without, so I start panicking when I get low. So here you can use um, essential oils in DIYs. Um, you can use it for your skin. Um, you can do personal care products. Essential oils are very versatile, and you can create anything from face masks, balms, um, creams, soaps, hair tonics. You can even do Play-Doh and candles. The list goes on and on. So your imagination is really your, um, your limitation. That's a Play-Doh. That right there on the screen is a sugar scrub. It's a like sugar scrub. It turn green. Like oh, oh, you want it to turn green? Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so lavender. Um, this is another one that is really great for any DIY. DIY. You like lavender? Yeah. I like pink lavender. I know. Your favorite is Joy. I know. The calming floral um, aroma of uh, lavender is perfect on its own, or it can balance out other aromas. It's very gentle on the skin and can be used in many different um, personal care products. It's basically called the Swiss Army Knife of essential oils because there's so many different uses. Here's a little lavender bedtime spray. Yes. I like that tone. Okay, cool. Um, and in the email following this, when I do the video replay, I will have this um, recipe 
um, ready for you guys so that you don't have to search through the video to try to find um, the recipe for this. But you just simply spray this on your bed before bedtime and it definitely helps you to relax. Frankincense, another one of my favorites. Um, this is a legendary for supporting the skin. Um, one of the most famous essential oils of all is frankincense. It has a woodsy, balsamic, um, uplifting aroma. Frankincense is included in several of Young Living's personal care products, including the ART Gentle Cleanser, the Boswellia Wrinkle Cream, and ART Intensive uh, Moisturizer. I put um, a small drop of frankincense on my skin, on my face, every night before bedtime, um, just because I love it so much. And here is another DIY frankincense eye cream. Um, we can make our own products at home. You don't have to buy expensive um, care products. Frankincense eye care is so simple. So you grab a pot and put it over some heat on the stove, just gently. Then add about a fourth cup of coconut oil and one teaspoon of vitamin E. And you can find that off of Amazon. Just make sure that it's organic and allow it to fully melt. This is important. You want to remove it from the heat and allow it to cool slightly and then add 10 drops of frankincense oil because you don't want to heat an essential oil because that breaks it down. So by removing it from the heat and letting it cool just slightly um, before it solidifies and putting in that 10 drops of frankincense, then you can incorporate it. Um, once you do all that, pour it into a small uh, one ounce container and place it in the refrigerator. Once it's firm, you can store it in your bathroom. You don't have to keep it in your refrigerator. You play with it? Uh-huh. You keep it cold. Be cold? Uh-huh. I don't want to be cold. I want to be keep it hot. <laughs> so another way to use your essential oils is by ingesting them. The Vitality essential oils are specifically labeled for ingestion and can be included in both a sweet and savory um, recipes. The Vitality essential oils can also be placed inside a capsule and placed or placed directly on the tongue. I even make mine with um, tea. I do Thieves Tea and it's definitely, um, I love it, it's delicious. So let's talk about Lemon Vitality. The first thing you may notice is that the label is white. This one is a funny one. Yeah, instead of colored. Um, this helps you to differentiate between essential oils labels for ingestion versus topical and aromatic. There, are, there really is no difference between the essential oil inside the, the bottle of the lemon or the lemon vitality. It's just how we have to talk about them um, for FDA purposes. So there's no weakness to a vitality, okay? I don't want you to think that it's weaker um, than the regular label lemon. It's just for FDA regulations. Lemon vitality has a bright, fragrant aroma that can enhance the flavor of foods and beverages. And because of the powerful uh, limonone and inside lemon vitality, it's also included in the ingredient of the Mingxia Red and Inner Defense. So here's a little recipe that you can use with your lemon. Lemon macaroons. Um, also, these are very simple and delicious. They get you the sweetness of the agave nectar, or you can use um, um, xylitol. I use, I use xylitol myself. Um, I don't really like agave, but, you know, it's better than some uh, sweeteners. Um, so it gives you that sweetness of that. You have or the orange um, marmalade and it uses other Young Living products uh, like einkorn. Einkorn flour is different than the flour that you're going to get at your store. Einkorn flour is not genetically modified. 
So this type of flower is what they used in the Bible, okay? He extensively tried to find the original icorn, and it took him years to do, and he finally found it and came home and started planting it and cultivating it. So the icorn flower there used, you know, minimally is, is okay for you as opposed to your white flower that you get today um, on the market. No that. No that. Yeah. Um, again, I will enclose this um, recipe for you so that you have this delicious um, little macaroon. And there's also a dipping sauce for lemon. I'm gonna grab a drink and other guys. I need a drink. Okay, don't spill it. Okay, here is a lemon vegetable marinade. And this is a wonderful thing to use lemon vitality for. It's both good to flavor both sweet and savory foods. To make Greek um, marinade, you combine one drop of oregano. And I'm telling you, it takes only one drop. It's so strong. Um, two drops of lemon vitality and one drop of black pepper vitality with three-fourths cup of olive oil, um, a half a cup of soy sauce. Now you wanna make sure that it's, <laughs> sorry guys. <coughs> um, organic and low sodium soy sauce. Um, there are coconut sauces out there that are better than just regular soy sauce. So look for those options as well. Um, okay, so you wanna marinate this for about an hour. So be, be aware, sweet foods can handle a lot more essential oils than savory foods, especially when you're using strong essential oils like um, oregano vitality, um, basil vitality, and thyme vitality. You can ensure that you do not wanna go too much. Um, I made that mistake when I put in some bone broth and thought, oh, I'll put in like three or four drops of oregano. Man, was it strong, but Gabe and I drank it. <laughs> um, so again, one drop goes a very long way. Um, and some people might be a little bit more sensitive, so dipping a toothpick into the oil bottle and just stirring the toothpick in, <laughs> in the vegetable oil will give you enough flavoring. So just kind of test it out on how you feel. In a capsule. So this is a, the, another way is to ingest your um, oils is in a capsule. Um, you can get capsules, I believe, off of Young Living. You can also get them off of Amazon. Just make sure that they are, you know, organic and safe and it's a good company. Um, but there, there are ways that you can do this. You just simply open up the capsule and make sure that you put your olive oil or whatever carry oil inside first and then your drops of essential oil and then close the cap and then you can take it. I can't swallow pills, so I never do this. <laughs> so I just, I just take it directly. So Thieves Vitality. Um, this is a little hot for some people to use. Um, again, I, I use it, but it is, it is hot when it's on, directly on the tongue. Um, let me see what Debbie has to say here. Hi, Debbie. Okay, what, what question do you have, Debbie? <clears throat> I think you'll have to chat. Uh, type it into the chat. A little, little quiet. Okay, hang on one second. Little loud. Um, little loud. Hmm, which one? The small one or the big one? Hang on one second. Um, let me see if I can get a mic on you, Debbie.
Okay, Debbie, you can speak your question if you have a question, I think. One second. Debbie had a question. No, I don't think it's working. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get Debbie's question. I don't want to forget it for her. If you're talk oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I, I thought I saw your hand up. Sorry about that. I thought I saw your hand up. Okay. Never mind. I just don't want you to think that I didn't see you. Okay. All right, so let's move on. Okay, Thieves, um, like I said, is a little too hot for some people to put on their thumbs, or their thumbs. You can do it on your thumb, goodness gracious. Um, on your tongue. <laughs> so you can put it inside a capsule. Um, it's really great for supporting the immune system and the respiratory system. Um, to fill the capsule, again, you just unscrew the top, place in your carrier oil, put in a couple drops of thieves, and then place the cap back on, and there, there you go. Um, last, last week I did a um, video about um, different ways to use thieves, and I used the thieves uh, tea. I can actually include that recipe for you guys in the video replay of this too, because I love my my thieves tea, especially right now when I'm dealing with all of this, it definitely helps speed up the process. Copaiba. Now this one is a great one and most people just kind of pass it by. They just don't understand what Copaiba does, but it is phenomenal in helping with the support of healthy immune or um, healthy uh, inflammation. Okay. Um, so this one you can put in a capsule as well. Um, this one is very mild. A lot of times I'll just directly put it on my tongue. If I need instant inflammation support, um, you can dispense it, like I said, directly on the tongue. And when you, when you do use it, it only takes a couple drops. Um, this one is also an amplifier of other oils. So if you use this along with a different oil, it's definitely going to increase that other oil's um, properties. So for instance, Gabe's favorite way to use copaiba is with black pepper. He'll put a couple black pepper drops on his tongue and then put a couple copaiba um, and it amplifies the alertness and the focus of the black pepper as opposed to just doing black pepper by itself. So it's definitely a great amplifier. And it is great for daily wellness, so you can use it daily and, and not have to worry. So direct ingestion, um, like I said, sometimes I put it directly on my tongue. It is a great way to end a meal. You can put like a, a drop of peppermint or something on your tongue just to soothe um, the taste, aftertaste. I see, yeah. The bomb. It is. My favorite, one of my favorite, they're all my favorite. Okay, guys, I, I don't have a favorite. They're all my favorite. Um, you can put uh, peppermint vitality directly on your tongue. It helps support gastrointestinal function and normal bowel movement. It can help support performance during exercise. You can put one drop, drop on your tongue or place a drop on your thumb and then place that on the roof of your mouth. Um, once you have a drop in your mouth, take a deep breath and just feel that cooling sensation. When, when my sinuses are having an issue, I'll put a drop of peppermint on the roof of my, my mouth and it opens up my passages immediately. Definitely helps. Digize. 
Um, the last essential oil that we'll cover today is Diagize Vitality. I want this now. Okay, go get one. This essential oil has been a game changer for so many people. It helps support optimal wellness and is brilliant when combined with other supplements to support um, digestion. The essential oil can be a bit bitter, um, so some people might find it beneficial if um, they just include it in a capsule or if they use it topically. Um, I have used it topically even on the kids. Um, it helps with you know, support for constipation, support for um, diarrhea, yeah. nausea, anything. Mom, Mom you yes. put the chocolate down there. It keeps it moving. And I want the chocolate. Okay, you go get chocolate. She's a chocolate lover. <laughs> okay, total body wellness. So we've talked a lot about essential oils, um, but there are so many more things with Young Living. Um, Ningxia Red products um, are something that I use. I use Sleek. Um, they have a really great Akotea tea that is so yummy. Um, so the Ningxia provides an antioxidant support and is a total nutrient infusion. They have personal care products for the entire family. And we covered that in a couple other different um, webinars and we will cont continue to cover more. Um, they have the Thieves Home Care products, which we talked about last week on how um, how chemicals in our household are so dangerous and that switching out with just these products eliminates all of those chemicals in our, in our household. And a lot of those chemicals can cause cancer. So I would definitely look into Thieves, um, all of the Thieves essential oil products. I love them so much. So Ningxia Red, let's highlight this a little bit. Um, for those of you that did attend my um, Bibles, uh, Ancient Oils of the Bible seminar, we talked about wolf berries and how on that scale of the antioxidant power um, that wolf berries were the number one food in the world for um, antioxidants. Now clove um, beat it by 40 times, but as a food, wolf berries is is a very strong antioxidant. Um, so this one has a total nutrient infusion with ingredients that participate in the antioxidant process. It just takes two ounces a day and you can um, get a dose of your superfoods with your pomegranate, um, your cherry, your wolfberry, your plum, your blueberry. Blueberry is another great one too. Um, and these also contain four essential oils inside. It has tangerine, lemon, orange, and yuzu. I've not tried yuzu because I don't think you can buy it separately. It's only included in the Ningxia. Um, Ningxia supports optimal wellness, normal eye health, and normal cellular function. So I, again, I make mine into a tea. I warm up. <coughs> Some hot water. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, make some hot water, put in some Ningxia reds, put in some essential oils and some honey, and there you go. That's my, my hot tea. Here is also a red punch that you can make. So just get some soda water, Ningxia red, maybe some more tangerine. You can add two drops of your sleek essence. Um, this helps uh, with healthy weight management and stir all those together. And it's a yummy punch. So your starter kit. So everyone in here has a starter kit and um, they, they are actually um, changing it up a bit. They're now including a sample of the Thieves uh, Cleaner for new people. So that's actually really great. Um, so everyone in here has already got theirs. If they do have questions about it, I really encourage you to ask me because I am here to teach you how to use it um, because I don't want it to just sit on the, 
on the shelf and not be used because these are such powerful tools that you have at your hands, um, your fingertips. And I want you to be able to use those in any way that you can. So we're just gonna touch a little bit about essential rewards. We will have uh, in a week or two um, a whole seminar uh, going over essential rewards, but I have the utmost confidence it, that Young Living's products can change your life as they have changed our life, um, but it cannot be done in just one order. Um, you can't simply buy everything all at once. It just can't be done. So I encourage each of you to try Essential Rewards for three months. If you hate it after three months, then you can, you can completely call and cancel. There's no obligation. There's no penalties, nothing. Um, but I have such confidence in the Essential Rewards and Young Living that I know that you'll love it after three months. Um, so Essential Rewards is the easiest way to get a wellness box at your door every month. You can always order anything you want. I change it up about four or five times every month before the order is placed um, because I can't make up my mind. Um, but you can always change it. You can change the date in which it's processed every month so it doesn't have to always be on the first or something like that. Um, I change mine back and forth every month. Um, so being a member of Essential Rewards gets you a discounted shipping, which is very beneficial for those heavy products such as Ningxia Red or your Thieves Cleaner. <laughs> you can also earn points um, that can be used for products in the future. So for instance, um, I use my Essential Reward points to buy my cleaner. Um, just because I don't think the cleaner is very fun, I don't want to have to pay for it. And I've never had to pay for it because my essential rewards pay for it for me. So that's another way you can get free product. Um, the longer that you're on essential rewards, the more points you earn. So months zero to three, you get 10% back. So let's break that down. So maybe you spent $100. You're going to get $10 back immediately plus free product. Um, you're going to get, and, the, and that $10 can be accumulated over so, several months if you want. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can uh, use it for a quick order to buy um, whatever products that you want um, with that essential reward uh, credit. Um, you also get loyalty gifts four times in the first year um, that your essential rewards. So uh, at month three, they give you Peppermint Vitality as a gift. Month six, they give you Thieves Vitality. Nine months, you get Tea Tree Oil. And 12 months, you get the exclusive blend Loyalty. You cannot buy that anywhere else. You only get it through Essential Rewards. And they, they give that to you as a loyal customer. Um, so if you wish to share Young Living with others, um, then you get um, exclusive bonuses. So again, you know, the longer that you're on it, the more products you get. Plus every single month they have promotions that um, Essential Rewards gets a little bit more of the free products as opposed to someone that's just getting um, one or two products in that promotion that month. So for instance, this month, um, if you spend 300, you get everything. You get the dryer balls, you get um, several different oils, you get allergies, um, and I think, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is, it, it's another oil. Um, Sue, do you have an, a question? I saw your hand pop up. Just want to make sure I don't skip over her. Um, look. Mom. Um. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. Um, if you want to just type it in the chat, I will definitely answer it for you. Um, okay. Oh, I did? Okay, sorry. Um. I lost my voice while we were talking. Um, we were just talking about the essential rewards and that um, in a couple weeks, we're gonna be talking about a whole, sim a whole 
webinar over essential rewards, but I wanted to talk about um, just a little touch on it that um, you get points back that you can use for um, just the amount. Um, the amount of how much you have to spend. Oh, okay. Um, yes, so the one right after loyalty, and I and I just made like a little instant. It's like, so if you purchased $100, you would get $10 back. Um, and then from months four to 24, you would get $20 back to send and you can accumulate that over time and you can um, like save up those points and use um, for big items such as the cleaner. Um, the like for instance, this month, I think if you spend 300, um, you get the dryer balls and all the oils that they're offering plus the allergies. Um, and I think there's a couple other items that you can only get with the essential rewards promotion. Not all those products are given. Um, like if you were not part of essential rewards, you do get some promotions every month. If you place, um, a, uh, like a hundred dollars or whatever, but if you're not on essential rewards, you're not going to get all of the promotions that they have. So by uh, signing up for the essential rewards, you get, a lot more for doing so. Does that answer your question? Just a second. Um, minimum order is 50. So $50 to stay in. Um, if you are doing uh, Young Living as a business, you wanna make sure that you minimally spend 100 to get your paycheck. But if you're just doing it with essential rewards, the minimum is $50 a month. And that can change every month. You don't have to do, you know, a large uh, order every month. You can, you can stay in essential rewards as long as you're doing $50 a month. Yep, you're welcome. Okay. So, um, thank you very much for joining me this morning. Are there any other questions before we leave? I don't want to leave without answering any of your questions. Mama. Just a second. I want um, a snack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, if we don't have any questions right now, you can always email me, text me, call me. I'm here for you to answer any of your questions. Um, I did have to change the um, Oils of the Bible uh, webinar to this coming Monday, and that is Monday the 9th at 7 o'clock. So we will meet here and do the Ancient Oils of the Bible at 7 o'clock um, on Thursday. Uh, okay, so on my Facebook, um, there is a group that I put together and it's gifts for her. Mother's Day is coming up. So if you just want to um, join that group, all it, all it is is like every few minutes um, at seven o'clock on Wednesday, uh, the 11th, every few minutes, there's going to be a post of a picture and different things that you can do to gift to your mom or your daughter or your sister or whoever you want to gift um, for Mother's Day coming up on May 13th. Um, and then Thursday, April 12th, we're going to have our Essential Rewards um, whole webinar where we're going to go in depth about Essential Rewards and that will be at seven o'clock. So thank you ladies for joining me this morning. I'm sorry that I didn't have all my voice at 100%, but hopefully you were able to get some of your questions answered. And if you do have questions uh, afterwards, just don't be afraid to email me, text me, or call me. I'm here for you. And we will see you next time.